All right, welcome to the F-18 on the Syria map. And today we're heading to Waypoint 1, which has some ground targets. And we're going to take those out with GBU-12s today. We're going to do two attacks. So we're going to drop a GBU-12, show you how to do a re-attack and reset up the aircraft to do another bomb drop. And then we're going to do a moving target uh, demonstration. So the GBU-12 is a lot simpler in the F-18, just due to the fact that you don't have to change you know, the laser codes before you take off. That's like one of my things is I always forget, like in the F-16 or the F-14 or the Harrier, I always forget to change the laser code before I take off when I'm on the multiplayer servers. It always happens. So cool thing about the F-18 is you can just change it on the fly. So let's talk about the laser code real quick. So right now we don't have anything selected. We're not in air to ground mode, air to air mode. We're just in nav mode. If you try to arm the laser, you'll see it's right here. It goes back to safe. So, in order to arm the laser, you have to go to air-to-ground mode. So we're in air-to-ground mode. And now the laser is armed. And what we can do is set up the bombs with the laser code that we want. So how do we do that real quick? Let's zoom in here so I can show you. So I learned this the other day. And I didn't know about this, but the old way I used to always do this is click on 82LG for GBU-12. Here's the code flashing with all four X's. Click code, code 1688. Enter step, you go to the next one, and you gotta enter the next code. So the other day I just learned that you could do this. And what that is is, you can unselect GBU-12, so if you just click on air to ground, and this is the screen you're at, you can just click, click code down here, comes up on the, uh, front, on the uh, UFC up here. Click code, 1688, enter. And now, if you click on GBU-12, you can see 1688 is now in all four of our stations. So we don't have to enter it every single time, which is pretty cool. So I just learned that the other day. So you can still do it the other way if you want, but I prefer to do it this way now. Uh, so mode's going to be auto, which is basically a CCRP mode. And then E-Fuse is going to be instant. So we got all the bombs set up. So the bombs are all good to go. Now what we need to do is set up the targeting pod with the same laser code as the bombs so just to demonstrate to change the code we'll just go unselect this code we'll do 1667 today enter just to verify 1667 they're all selected and it's flashing at us right now and that's because the targeting pod code doesn't match the laser code of the bomb so let's do that real quick come over here to the right hit the middle button here hit flare and then we'll click UFC. And you can see it's flashing right here because it doesn't match. It says LTDR does not match. So we need to click on LTDC 1667, which is the code that I created. Hit enter. And now it says 1667. And on the left, it says 1667. It's no longer flashing, which is good news for me. So the bomb in the targeting pod, it's all set up. We're about eight miles away. So let's turn around and fly outbound just a quick minute here and then re-engage. All right, welcome back. We're about 20 miles out from waypoint one. Autopilot's back on. I didn't change anything. Everything's still the same. Just did a uh, outbound leg and turned back in. So let's put the targeting pod at waypoint one. So how do we do that? We have waypoint one here selected. Just hit waypoint designate. Now it says target. And here's waypoint one right here. So sensor select right to get the diamond on the top right. And we'll zoom on in here and see if we can find anything. Also, we'll change it to FLIR. That's used up here on this OSB on the top. And sensor select right to go to area track. And now we can start moving the uh, targeting pod around. And here's some targets right here. They're actually slow moving, so we can actually do a quick demonstration here on uh, on moving targets. So we're in an area track. If we do another sensor select right short, it goes to point track or auto mode. So now it's following this target, and also it says up here, uh, moving target. Currently about 10 miles away. So now that we have him selected, we're going to hit the TDC depress button. So TDC depress. Boom. Good to go there. Basically, it slews everything over there. 
ready to go. And up here in the HUD, you can see it says FLIR. Auto is X'd out, and that's because the master arm is off. So we need to put on the master arm. There we go. So now it says FLIR, auto, 52 seconds to release, and it says 8.1 miles away. I'm going to turn off the autopilot. And line up the ASL. We got about 42 seconds until drop here. So again, what I like to do when I'm just waiting for this to happen, I love to go over everything here. So like, again, auto mode, E-fuse instant, 1667 on the uh, targeting, or on the uh, laser bo guided bomb, sorry. Over here, again, 1667 for the LTDR, which is our laser. That's set to go. We did the TDC deep press. We are designated. We're all set to go. Also in the HUD, you can see it says L arm for the laser. We're just waiting for that free fall for the bomb. Holding the weapon release button right now. And it's coming off from the right. There it goes. One away. And what I love about laser guided bombs is it's in auto mode. So let me turn on the autopilot real quick. Barometric altitude. And if we look down here, it says four seconds till the laser goes active. Boom. There goes the laser. You can see right here it's flashing. The laser is active. Four seconds till impact. Let's zoom out just a little bit here so we can see the nice explosion. Boom. Impact. So terminate. So what's cool is the laser will actually stop firing on its own. But you have to rearm the laser. So that's why I kind of wanted to go over a um, re-attack here in the laser guided bomb for the F-18. So you can see right here the switch is now off. So we have to put the switch back on. So the switch is back on. It's armed. We're ready to go. And we're going to fly outbound and do a re-attack. We're going to find another tank here, which is a moving target. And uh, attack that bad boy. Okay, I flew outbound, and uh, we're just leveling back out. We're about 7 miles away right now, about 42 seconds till release. Autopilot's back on. And we can also couple this. So let's couple this to the ASL. So we're using the autopilot for everything right now. The only thing it doesn't do is drop your bomb for you. Coming over here to the uh, targeting pod. Still at soy. We'll go into INR scene track here. Find this tank right here. Go to auto mode. TDC depress just to make sure he's designated. Again, we're still looking here. 1677 is going to come off of our left pylon this time. It's good to go. Four seconds till release. Holding the bomb drop button. Boom. There it goes. So, one away. We've got uh, 12 seconds till the laser is active. Again, this is we're using. Um, oh, sorry. Got to turn off the couple mode here. Wee! Gonna break the wings. So we're using the auto mode of the laser, so it's firing right now, four seconds till impact. If you wanted to, you could use the trigger to fire the laser, so that's a good shack right there at terminate. So basically, essentially, if you want to use the trigger, we'll go ahead and arm it again, so make sure you rearm it, and you can select trigger. So if you select trigger, that's basically, when you hold the trigger down, it's going to fire the laser. So you can do it manually and again i like to do it automatic you know make it easier on yourself just turn around and get line of sight of this guy so we can show you exactly so we'll look at this tank here if we hold the laser or hold the trigger rather you can see now we're firing the laser so we're manually firing the laser and that's with the trigger active so I usually have it unselected, and I just go for the automatic mode. Okay, so now that we took out two targets, let's use the radar, the air-to-ground radar, to find some moving targets. And I love to use this, like, especially on Gray Flag, because there's convoys flying, not flying, but they're driving all over the place. And it's good to pick them up on the radar and take them out, because we need to take them out to, you know, win the mission, basically. So, so how do we do that real quick? Well, we got the sun at our back here, so it's going to be a little hard to see, but go to radar attack. And make sure it's on GMT. There it is. Sensor select right. And we'll put the TDC over these little bricks. So you can see these little bricks. So that means that there's 
some stuff moving there. TDC depress, and it's picked up something. So we'll pick up the FLIR. And let's see if the what let's see what the FLIR says here. What's the FLIR? Alright, there they are. FLIR's looking at these bad boys. And there they go. So let's see if we can track one of these guys. Sensor select right to go to INR scene. And sensor select right to put auto. Boom. We got him. So there he is. He's a moving target. He's moving pretty fast. So we're going to have to do a good job here on uh, dropping this laser guided bomb. So again, let's set this bad boy up. Uh, master arms off. So we'll turn it back on. Make sure the laser's armed. Boom, it's armed. Also says L arm in the HUD. Currently 2.3 miles away from this target. Turn off the autopilot. He's down there. There they are. Just setting up for a re-attack here. Still got him, surprisingly, in the targeting pond. All right, here we go. Coming around hard. Still got him, still got him. He's going to be coming straight at me. You know, you don't want him to be going straight away from you because that's going to be a little bit harder. All right, here we go. So again, we're doing the auto drop. Instant fuse. We're on the ASL. Holding the release button. One away from the right. You can see it there it goes. It's dropping. And we don't want to mask the pod. So here we go. Laser comes arm in four seconds. Oh, it lost track. We picked it back up. Can we get it? Oh, it just missed. No, it hit. Wow, it still hit. He's on fire. All right, that was a bad demonstration. We lost the moving target track at the last second, but we picked it back up because we're an absolute Chad. Or a dummy for losing it. <laughs> Depends on how you want to look at it. All right, so let's just... Let's just demonstrate that again, because that was a uh, bad demonstration. All right, looking for those moving targets. Well, looks like they stopped moving. Looks like we scared them. But uh, I think you guys get the idea here. So we're turning back in. Remember to arm that laser again. You can see in the HUD it doesn't say L arm again, so arm it. Turn him back in. This guy stopped moving. Everything looks good. 1667, 1667. We're on the ASL. We dropped it. Let's demonstrate a manual release this time. So we, we boxed the trigger button, so we need to be in charge of firing the laser. So I'm just going to go ahead and fire it. Holding the trigger button down right now. But remember, you got to make sure you arm that box there if you want to do the manual laser good check letting go of the trigger and make sure you rearm the laser for the next re-attack and that's how you do laser guided bombs like an absolute chad in the F-18 so really hope you enjoyed that video on the F-18 and laser guided bombs we did multiple demonstrations, so hope that was clear and concise. Again, if you like the content, you know what to do, and we'll see you on the next video.